on-chain analysis for smarter crypto trading. Crypto markets are chaotic. Price pumps, dumps, manipulation. Most traders chase candles and lose money. But what if you could see the real moves happening behind the scenes? That's where on-chain analysis comes in. Today, I'll show you how to use on-chain metrics to trade smarter, spotting whale moves, accumulation phases, and warning signs before the market reacts. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use data directly from the blockchain, not hype, to make better trading decisions. Let's get into it. What is on-chain analysis? On-chain analysis is simple. It means analyzing actual data recorded on the blockchain. Every Bitcoin or Ethereum transaction, every wallet move, all of it is public. Unlike technical analysis, which looks at price charts, on-chain data tells you what people are actually doing with their coins. It answers key questions like, are whales buying or selling? Is more crypto moving onto exchanges? Are new users entering the network? It strips away noise and hype. What's left is the raw behavior of market players. Why it matters? Crypto prices are driven by supply and demand. On-chain analysis helps you see that flow in real time. Example, if Bitcoin inflows to exchanges spike, it often means people are preparing to sell. That creates short-term sell pressure. If coins are leaving exchanges, it signals accumulation, people locking away their coins for long-term holding. Seeing these moves early gives you an edge. You don't have to guess. You follow the smart money. Key on-chain metrics. Four. Now, let's break down the most important on-chain metrics you should track. One, exchange inflows and outflows. This is simple but powerful. Watch how much Bitcoin or Ethereum flows into or out of exchanges. High inflows potential sell-off. High outflows equals accumulation. Bullish sign. During bull runs, outflows dominate as people withdraw to hold. Before crashes, inflows surge as traders rush to sell. Whale wallet activity. Whales control the market. A whale is anyone holding a large amount of a coin. Tracking whale wallets helps you front run big moves. If whales start sending coins to exchanges, prepare for a dump. If they're buying during dips, the bottom might be close. Tools like Whale Alert or Nansen help monitor these wallets. Three, active addresses and network growth. If active wallet addresses are growing, the network is healthy. More users, more transactions, that's bullish. Flat or declining activity means fading interest. It often comes before price drops. Don't invest in dying projects. Always check if network usage supports the price action. Four, realized cap versus market cap. Market cap is just price times supply, but realized cap values each coin at the price it last moved on chain. Why does this matter? When market cap is way higher than realized cap, the market is overheated. Risk is high. When market cap drops near or below realized cap, it signals possible bottom zones. Smart money starts buying here. MVRV ratio. MVRV, market value to realized value, tells you if holders are mostly in profit or loss. High MVRV means most people are in profit. That's when people sell. Low MVRV means pain. Everyone's underwater. Ironically, that's the best time to buy. Six, miner activity. Miners get paid in Bitcoin or Ethereum. When they sell heavily, it creates extra sell pressure. Track miner wallets. If miners are dumping, it's often a short-term bearish sign. Seven, stablecoin supply and flows. When stablecoins flow into exchanges, people are getting ready to buy crypto. If stablecoin reserves are high, it's dry powder waiting to be deployed. That's bullish. How to use on-chain analysis in trades. Now, how do you apply all this? Here's your step-by-step -step process. Step one, monitor exchange flows daily. Sites like Glassnode or CryptoQuant give real-time charts. Spikes in inflows, tighten stop losses. Big outflows, possible bullish setup. Step two, watch whale movements. Set alerts. If a whale wallet that was sleeping for months suddenly moves, something's coming. Use this data to trade ahead of the herd. Step three, combine network growth with price action. Price pumping, but network activity is flat? Be careful. It's likely a fake out. If both price and user growth align, the trend is legit. Step four, use MVRV for timing entries and exits. When MVRV is in the danger zone, above 2.5 for Bitcoin, think about taking profits. When MVRV is low, under 1, it's usually a good long-term buying opportunity. Step 5. Check stablecoin reserves. High reserves? 
market might be gearing up for a move. No stable coins on exchanges? Momentum could dry up. Common mistakes in on-chain analysis. Quick warnings. Here's how people screw this up, relying on one metric. No single number predicts the market. Always cross-check. Blindly following whales. Not every whale is smart. Some get wrecked too. Ignoring market conditions. On-chain data works best when combined with technical and macro analysis. Don't get caught tunnel-visioned on one piece of data. Real example. May 2021 Bitcoin crash 1 min. Let me give you a real-world example. In May 2021, Bitcoin dumped hard from 60k to 30k. But if you were watching exchange inflows, you saw the warning. Whale wallets sent massive amounts of BTC to exchanges days before the crash. At the same time, network growth stalled. Fewer new users. Flat activity. On-chain data told the story. Sell pressure rising, demand dropping. Technical traders got caught. On-chain watchers got out early. On-chain analysis gives you X-ray vision in crypto. Instead of guessing, you see what's really happening, where coins are moving, who's buying, who's selling. It helps you avoid becoming exit liquidity. It keeps you out of hype cycles and gets you in when the smart money is buying. If you're serious about trading crypto, start using tools like Glassnode, Nansen, and CryptoQuant. That's it for today. If you found this breakdown useful, subscribe for more straight-talking crypto content. No hype, just strategy. See you in the next video.